And cell phones are definitely one of those things that uh, a lot of people have strong feelings about. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. Also today, Flanagan served up lunch at school to students in Northfield. All right, 62 days now to go until presidential ballots are cast. We continue to look at the issues on the minds of you, the voters, leading up to Election Day. Tonight, we are digging into migrants seeking to enter our country at the U.S.-Mexico border. To set the stage here tonight, we're going to begin with findings from a 2024 survey by the nonpartisan Pew Research Center. According to the Pew findings, nearly 80 percent of Americans classify the situation at the U.S.-Mexico border as a crisis. Breaking that number down along party lines, the split looks like this. 70% of Republicans describe the migrant situation as a crisis, compared with just 22% of Democrats. When asked about their concerns with the border crossings, here are two of the most frequent ones for Americans right now. Economic burdens associated with the migrant influx, including strains on social services and other government resources. And the security concerns, things like crime rates, terrorism threats, and drug trafficking. Now, we want to focus more on that second one there, crime. Nearly 60% of Americans believe the number of migrants seeking to enter the U.S. leads to more crime. That number is much higher for Republicans at 85%, with a smaller share of Democrats, around 30%, feeling the same way about crime rates when it comes to migrants. What does the actual crime data show? Well, according to a 2000, 2020 study from the, or the uh, U.S. Department of Justice, U.S.-born citizens are more than two times more likely to be arrested for violent crimes than undocumented immigrants or legal immigrants. Additionally, U.S.-born citizens are 2.5 times more likely to be arrested for drug crimes and more than four times likely to be arrested for property crimes. Finally, let's look at support to expand the border wall with Mexico. Here in 2024, 72% of Republicans say substantially expanding it would make the migrant situation better. That compares with 82% of Republicans back in 2019. This year, 15% of Democrats say wall expansion would be beneficial. In 2019, that number was just